This is the story of a journey of small beginnings and big dreams. The story of a child learning to read in a classroom of brick and mortar in a township where a school was once a shack. Of university graduates fulfilling the promise of their bursaries by taking up that coveted corporate position. And of the young entrepreneur setting up shop with the support and advice of an organization that cared enough to make a difference. This is the story of a foundation that gave wings to five social initiatives, enabling them to fly. Be, if you like, a change agent, work with other entities, government included, to bring about meaningful change in the lives of people. A bigger change you want the world to be. We need to have active citizens who are saying, my country first. Many have discovered opportunities they never imagined. Many have been touched by a deep sense of common humanity, a shared purpose of creating positive change. One thing that you learn at Shanduga is that it's not just about you, it's about the other person as well. Since it was established in 2004, Shanduka Foundation has made a profound contribution to education, skills development and entrepreneurship in South Africa. It is about how do we find solutions that will make their tomorrow as good as my today? I was very surprised by how much the foundation has given me a purpose in my life. Through Adopt a School Foundation, Kahiso Shanduka Trust, the Cyril Ramaphosa Education Trust, the Experiential Workplace Program, and Shanduka Black Umbrellas, it has benefited the lives and improved the prospects of hundreds of thousands of people. Shanduka can point to many successes and impressive statistics. It can describe the journey traveled, the obstacles it has overcome, and the lessons learned. Yet although much has changed, the fundamental intent remains the same. It's about creating opportunities and changing lives. It's about making a difference where a difference is most needed. Oh, Cyril Ramaphosa was a very hard-working young man, loving, caring, for other children. I was asked by my former school to donate a fax machine and then she took me around the school and I was actually quite horrified to see how badly dilapidated my school was and the great need that they had and out of a call for a fax machine the Adopted School Foundation was born. Adopt a School Foundation works to create conducive teaching and learning environments in disadvantaged schools. I would like to help my family when they are sick so that they cannot go a long way to the, to the hospital but to me. Since its inception 12 years ago, Adopt a School, with the Shanduka Foundation's support, has partnered with government, businesses and individuals to invest over 157 million rand in schools. Sometimes we come back on the weekends because like, we want to we just want to stay at school. It has impacted on the lives of over 490,000 learners, their families and greater communities. Social transformation, I would not um, give it to anyone but uh, Shanduga. Instead of using a big construction company, they in fact use the parents of the learners at the school. Learners who really could not read, not because they cannot, but because they've got maybe eyesight problems. Now they're going to be getting glasses and that is life changing. The whole school development focus on the infrastructure in the schools. It focus on educator development, but it also focus on the social challenges that the learners are facing. We also focus on governance and leadership. If you don't have strong leadership, then whatever intervention you're doing is not sustainable. After the strategic planning, then the leadership can manage the school and they can hold the educators accountable and everyone is committed. The life of those guys who are working there, they're getting a salary. It's going to be a project of about four months. They can be proud to bring something home. And they feel that we are building something of our own for ourselves and for our children. Building on the experience of Adopt a School, Shanduka Foundation entered into a collaboration with Kahiso Trust and the Free State Department of Education in 2013 to support the development of 428 schools in two districts in the Free State. 
Kahizo Shanduka Trust will invest at least 400 million rand in whole school development in the province over the next four years. We, we don't want to be standing on the periphery and say the system does not work, but without being getting our hands dirty on how do we make the system work. Kahizo Shanduka Trust is one of the biggest highlights because that's putting together all the learnings we have had and, and received over the years. It's about working now with another entity, Kahiso Trust, who is a well-established, well-respected entity, and then coming together with government. And if we can, if we can crack that nut, gosh, we would have made a difference. Shanduka Foundation provides bursaries to deserving youth through the Cyril Ramaphosa Education Trust, often referred to as CRET. Since its humble beginning in 1996, CRET has grown significantly with the support of Shanduka Foundation and a growing number of partners. It has awarded over 80 bursaries. 30 students have since graduated from university to pursue professional careers. As the CRET, they are more for family, like they mentor you, they know like every little detail about you. And here we met, monitor, mentor and walk a journey with these kids. We're more interested in making one a well-rounded individual. So they gave all the CRED students exposure into you know, the working environment. That's what I'm learning. It's because we need to give you know, as we grow and as we live, because life is all about giving and um, improving each other. Where I can feel like I'm part of the family. So that's that's one thing that I learned at Shanduga, how people of Shanduga are close together. Because they show you that it's possible to do anything out there. Like, don't let where you come from determine where you're going. In continuing its ethos of learning and in an effort to help young people make the transition from education to employment, Shanduka Foundation set up the Experiential Workplace Program in 2010. This program has benefited 63 young people. Of these previously unemployed work seekers, 52 now have full-time jobs. Think about the future of, of the people out there. Think about the needs of other people out there. It's in your hands how you apply yourself. What a total stranger can do for you. You now open your heart to what you can do for everyone. Once you really say to all corporates out there, it's something that's essential. You have to have to give these opportunities to young people. As part of its ambition to develop small businesses, in 2009, Shanduka Foundation partnered with Black Umbrellas to form Shanduka Black Umbrellas. We were very pleased to have met two very good entrepreneurs in Mark Franco and Charles Mazel. We have to get those emerging companies sustainable and creating jobs and that's the focus of Shanduka Black Umbrellas. SBU currently has eight small business incubators around the country with 256 100% black-owned small businesses. To date, these businesses have created and preserved over 2,200 jobs. Through the Shanduka Black Pages portal, thousands more black-owned businesses are provided access to markets and opportunities to develop themselves through various support services, mentors and virtual training. Get to network with big corporates, get to market to your business. Uh, Shanduka Black Umbrellas um, just has access to the most amazing mentors. NGOs or NPOs that are going to make a difference, that understand that space the best. Um, and that's undoubtedly Shanduka Black Umbrellas, which is why we've partnered with them uh, with this particular enterprise development program. You've got institutions like SBU to incubate you and try to grow you in the right direction. And if you look at the work that SBU is doing, I mean, it is really fantastic to take all these black owned businesses and, and take them through their program to get them to a point where they actually make a meaningful contribution to the economy. What's inspired me most at Shanduka Black Umbrellas are the clients that we serve. Um, you know, seeing them walk in on the first day with some of them with just an idea and a hope um, and the transformation in their personal lives, the transformation in their confidence as they start to see their business model become a real thing. As it marks its 10th anniversary, Shanduka Foundation can attest to the hundreds of millions it has invested in education, skills development and entrepreneurship. 
It can enumerate the classrooms built and the small businesses supported, the bursaries awarded and the work opportunities created. But more important than all of that are the lives that the Foundation and its many partners have changed. They are the true measure of the success of this endeavor. They are the reason for Shanduka Foundation's existence. Here's to 10 years of creating positive change. 10 years of building opportunities out of challenges. 10 years of proving that it takes passion, dedication and collaboration to create the nation of our dreams. 10 years of maturing into an effective and sustainable agent of social and economic change. 10 years of successful partnerships that impact on the lives of South Africans. Just imagine what can be achieved together in the next 10 years.